Steve, the forwards had a tough test against Bath. How do you think they performed on the pitch? Um, I think there was a lot of elements of the game that were, that were positive for us. Um, there was um, others that we, we obviously we've identified we need to work on. There was a little bit of sloppiness at the line out, um, which had gone down to a few different factors. Uh, some were individual errors, some are um, you know just a bit of pressure being put on them. Some of it was smart play by Bath. There's a couple of things that they did were just quite smart. So sometimes you've got to tip your hat to the opposition and, and say it's quite a good play by them. But um, most of the stuff, you know, there was a lot of work on for us, which got highlighted by playing against a very good opposition, which is a positive thing as well. So what did you learn about the set piece uh, against Bath? Um, I think we were a little bit naive at times. I think... Um, Bath sort of old manders a little bit. They um, they had a lot of experience. Obviously, they had an international front row out, and we were a little bit too honest. I think uh, at scrum time, I'll be honest here. Uh, and once we give a couple of penalties away, it was sort of going to be the referee had a little bit of it in in, in his mind of who was a dominant the pack. Um, but I think the boys have seen what what they did, what, how they got dominant against us at times wasn't a huge thing it's just stuff that we didn't do in our in our set piece practice which we we, we 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 take a lot of pride in so they've learned a lot from playing against them although it didn't go amazingly well it's highlighted areas that they need to get better at which against the likes of no disrespect to uh, to air um they, they got away with where against a top quality outfit like bath they didn't get away with that, those little those little minor details moving on what's the bond like between the forwards and the backs in this new look squad um, good, yeah. I mean, one thing we addressed, and Jake Allicker addressed that in, in pre-season, was uh, when they did the, the sort of, it was like a general programme at the start of the season where they were doing a lot of the similar sort of weights. We actually mixed the groups up, so backs and forwards trained together, which was a big, a huge thing, because sometimes when it's just backs and forwards in the gym and then out on the field, they don't really sort of get to bond, you know, so like mix with each other for probably the first four or five weeks of the pre-season. So that's helped us a lot. And yeah, they've all, they've all got on really well. Um, there's a couple of growls at uh, dinner time when the backs get a little too close to the forwards. But yeah, it's, uh, it's going quite well. They all, they all seem to bond it very well. There's going to be some tough physical challenges ahead. Are the lads fit and strong enough? Yeah, I mean, they've done a, I mean Jake's done a great job in pre-season, um, like he, he did the year before. Um, I think the boys look extremely strong. I've, I've noticed myself that they're lifting a lot heavier weights. They seem a lot better conditioned and the skills under pressure seem to be uh, a better level than where we've had them in the past. So, um, yeah, I mean, only time will tell, but um, I think we're prepared as best we can as a coaching staff. And in terms of uh, squad depth, are you prepared as well as you can be for those, uh, those hard months in January and February when there perhaps a, a few knocks? Yeah, definitely. I think we've, um, we've got a, a lot more strength in depth, I think. I think there's a few boys, I'll be honest with you, that have, we've signed that have surprised us of how far they are. We thought they might not be as, as far ahead in the development as what they are, and they surprised us. Or they've just you know, you know, come on quicker in a, in a positive environment, which the boys have created. Um, you know, us as a coaching staff, we put a template in place, but it's the boys that sort of create that positive buzz, and um, they seem to come on leaps and bounds. So... I think there's a, a lot more depth, there's a lot more competition for places, and I think that comes from there's a lot of hunger in the squad. Um, and, uh, you know, the old saying of fight hungry, I think um, it's proven so far to be a good test. Like I said, we're, we're nowhere near the finished article, nowhere near it. There's a lot of developing to do, and it's a, it's a slow process. But um, at the moment, we're, the, you know, their attitude is right, which is that the building blocks are where we want to go.